Walt. It's Russell back with Gwinnett Lines in beautiful. Yep, late August sky and hot Atlanta, Georgia. All right, so I'm gonna get right to it on this video. If you have a Hustler Trim Star or two and you want to put a Pro Slide XT on here, I'm gonna show you something that you really, really, really need to add to this purchase to make it function properly and it won't be tearing up your shins. So <clears throat> to get to the uh, straight to the point, the back of the Hustler, this portion right here is angled down. Most other walk behinds, it's pretty much straight up and down like this, but this is angled back. If you mount this Pro Slide right out of the box, to the back of the trim star, which it will bolt right up. It will have the, the uh, pro slide when it's in its retracted position too far angled this way so it, you have the potential to hit your shins. So what is the solution? Well, pro slide or Nova, Nova Corporation that actually designed the pro slide has this angle correction bracket for the trim star, all right? And that bracket is, and I'm going to show you how to change it, is right here. But that's not going to work. Mm -mm. It's only going to change it a few degrees. What you need is you need this guy right here. All right. I'm going to put Rick's information. He is the designer slash creator of this. If you would like to order this from Rick, I'll put his information down in the description. And also, I'll put it on the screen. This is version two of the angle correction bracket. That is the bracket that you need. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to mount the Pro Slide to the Trim Star first with it just like it came out of the box if you didn't do anything to it. Then I'm gonna show you how far it sticks out. Then we'll change this bracket. This, I'm gonna call it a cam. It's not really a cam, but it's just a, it's their version of an angle correction bracket. Uh, I'll Take the Pro Slide off, mount that on there, put it back on there, and show you. It will make a slight bit of difference, but the real key is going to be when we will take this bracket right here off of the Pro Slide and replace it with Rick's correct angle correction bracket. This will allow you to see visually the three different ways that you can mount this and uh, I have his original version this is a ghost slide but I have the original version down here you can also search my channel when I had the 54 inch trim star I had the original version of the angle correction bracket um, on that and it made a huge difference so to get right down to this I went ahead and removed the uh, plates there's two plates that sit right here these are the, uh, the hydro transmissions here, and this is the hydro drive belt. And I want to show you that when you receive the Pro Slide, this plate right here, all right, that I took off, this plate is going to be bolted with these bolts to here, all right. What this is designed to do is designed to be used behind here, all right, back behind here to reinforce the steel so it doesn't damage it it doesn't pull out from the mower but this is super heavy gauge and I'm going to show you why that piece of bracket will not work on the trim star there's absolutely no way to fit the bracket down here there's it just won't work um, but this is well I don't know what gauge this is but it's super super heavy and um, the way I'm gonna mount it is the exact way that I did on the 2019 trim star and it's perfectly fine so um, I'm just going to get right to this. I'm going to go ahead, like I said, and mount the Pro Slide first to the mower with absolutely no angle correction brackets, either from Pro Slide or from Rick's bracket. All right, so here's the Pro Slide straight out of the box with only the Pro Slide components. And as you can see, it's uh, this is not a uh, situation where this would be uh, good at all. Um, it sticks out too far. 
could hit your uh, your shins. Uh, we want it more tucked up like this. Okay. So you can see this is almost flat. It's just angled up just a little bit. So next, I'm going to take this off and I'm going to show you how to change the cam, and we'll try it with that uh, pro slide cam on there. All right. So uh, you can either use half inch or 13 millimeter. Just loosen this nut and bolt assembly right here that's on the bottom of the bracket. Now one thing I will say that I'm concerned about is that this arm or this bracket that they send you is different, not just in the angle, but I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna take this off. don't know if it makes a huge difference but you see this is like a cage this has this piece right here that stabilizes on this or quasi stabilizes on this tube but we'll uh we'll see what happens so i'll uh just put the shock stud back in here like this and we'll tighten this back up so that's on there, and when we put the pen assembly back in, it will stabilize this. All right, so let me get this back on the trim star, and we'll see what kind of difference that this bracket makes as opposed to the uh, stock one. I'm going to give you guys a word of warning. You literally need three hands to do this. You have to... I'm going to show you. I've been struggling and struggling and struggling with this. You have to hold the pro slide up like this. And this bracket, because there's nothing... Now I see why they had that uh, piece there. Was so that it doesn't flop down like this. But you have to hold this up so it's in the correct angle, right? You have to have somebody else push that in. So push the pen in. You just, it's, this is the most frustrating thing ever. I pushed the pen in just a little bit to see if I could uh, get it to catch. Maybe this will work. I don't know. Yeah, this is, uh, this is ridiculous. I've had to take my pro slide off in the field before and uh, this would be beyond um, frustrating. So, but I want to do it for you guys so you can see the... ridiculous so now you can see how much more with the uh, <laughs> with that bracket in there okay that's flat it was just like this a minute ago now it's like that well that's not enough all right so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to take this back off again and I think well I'm going to take it back off I'm going to replace this factory pro slide black bracket with the one that Rick makes so check that out see what I'm standing okay um, so I think I may do it with this bracket, of course, and then I may take it back off and put that original 
bracket right here on because I'm telling you, if you have to take this off in the field and you don't have that jack like I had, you are going to be miserable trying to do this. You really need three hands. So anyway, I'm going to do it for you guys. So let me take the bracket off and we'll uh, get it set back up. All right, so I found something out I didn't know. Save your money and do not buy the... Uh, you don't need the trim star, or I'm sorry, the pro slide bracket because the angle is too steep. Use the bracket that it came with. This was very easy to slide in because it's got the captive cage on it. Um, see how much further that tucks up now? That's the way it's supposed to be. See the difference? Without anything, it was uh, almost like this. And then with the other bracket, it was like this. All right, so that is perfectly the way that you want it. So, this is not needed, okay? And then here is the original Pro Slide bracket. And then I'm gonna put the pen in. Don't forget the pen. Okay, but that's exactly the way that you want it. There's perfectly, um, probably an inch and a eighth of clearance here, so it won't slam into the back of it. I used Rick's bolts, it has lock washer, I mean the lock nut on there. And I used one of these spacers in the back behind it. So, yep, that's exactly the way that you want it. Hot out here. All right, so the moral of this story is, again, this is not needed if you're gonna use Rick's angle correction bracket. I highly recommend them because that is the way a pro slide should tuck up. And that's probably the way it would tuck up on anything other than a hustler because of the angle. So anyway, guys, I hope that was helpful. And uh, again, I'll put Rick's information down in the description below and I will talk to you on the next one.